Hi and welcome, I'm Tommy Holst and this is the Dropcast Movie Poster Podcast Release Edition. This format is part of the Instagram blog Drop and you can find us under at DropMicOfficial. We do reviews, news and interviews that all have to do with the film business. And today we will cover some different ways of releases like trading cards, eBay auctions and open editions. That includes also the Vice Press latest greatest print, The Thing by Patrick Conan, where we're going to take a closer look at this beautiful print and how he made it. So stay tuned and head over to our Instagram profile at DropMakeOfficial to follow along with the art we are talking about or check us out on YouTube. So here you will have an overview of what we are going to talk about today. So there's a lot of stuff and um, but first I will not talk about a print in particular. I want to talk about spoke art in general. Spoke art they set up um, they have the 10th anniversary and they set up some eBay auctions. You can find on their website, they have it all um, in, in a certain mix. And on the 16th, there's going to be an alternative film poster auction in their eBay store. Where I'm just going to head over there right now. You can see um, the Chuck Sperry stuff is all online. Before that, it was the, the Wes Anderson um, movie posters, but even shoes they had from Adidas. That was kind of cool to see. So head over there, um, check out the bidding. It's uh, also for a good cause. I think it was Doctors Against uh, uh, Doctors uh, Without Borders, I think it was. Some part goes to that. And um, yeah, Doctors Without Borders, 10% of the sales go there. So that's a good thing um, to have. And I hope you really um check this out and maybe you'll get something some cool stuff for a cool price so that would be um maybe maybe uh for for you guys out there like the incentive because i saw some stouts on there and um they are really cool and uh, some other great artists that worked on uh, some of their um catalog they have so check that out it's definitely worth it Okay, now let's get over to the prints I'm going to talk about this week. And the first one we have is Bumblebee by the one and only Dolly. He is um, a master at this. And this is, Zavi, this is a Zavi edition. It's a G-Clay print on bright white cotton fine art paper, 300 grams per square meter or square something uh, paper. And um, it's an A... Uh, is this, I don't know what size it is, but it's, uh, but it's um, 16 by 24 inch, but it's not uh, the, the centimeter size because we're going to come back later be, the, because Vice Press, for example, they did um, a different kind of approach, more European approach. Let's put it that way. And yeah, there's no edition size info yet. Um, maybe we will get to know it, but it's I think it's still available on the Zavi uh, side on the UK, but there's also a German variant and other European countries have it. And um, yeah, they have also the Zavi gallery on Instagram. So check that out as well. <clears throat> Speaking of Zavi, we're going to have uh, some more Zavi art and it's <clears throat> the Back to the Future 35 year edition. And it's a timed edition, which was only available for seven days. It's officially licensed with Universal. There are three individual prints who are really cool it's a 12 by 24 edition g clay print uh, printed by white duck on cotton acid free archival paper and the artist is ben Harmon. he has been here before and he will be here in the next release edition because of a disney release with bottleneck but today uh thanks for alternative movie poster who provided the pictures here in this case um we can see this cool trilogy of back to the future prints um, with all the different um, aspects and that all look kind of cool and in this kind of way and I like the black and white aspect of it so this kind of timed edition is a really cool piece for all of you uh, back to the future fans it just looks great can't wait um, if people have it in hand and uh, see what the print look like the next one is also a set and was a Star Wars set that came out on the 4th of July. It was timed over that weekend and um, it's by Devin Shuffler. It's, it's a 16 by 24 set, uh, the 4th, the 5th and the 6th. And uh, it comes also with a certificate of authenticity. I think it's by Acme Archive uh, authenticated. It's a, a hand numbered pearlescent lithograph print edition. It looks really amazing. Uh, I wish I hadn't have so much um star wars prints already and trilogies already 
otherwise this would definitely be a pickup i love the the way c3po is the big head here because it's the the the, the perspective of the droids that is very important especially in this movie and um you can also see uh, all the cool characters like with the like gold shimmerish it probably looks very great on the pearlescent paper um empire strikes back one is with the stormtrooper of course um sadly no snow trooper but uh I, I don't like the helmet design either on uh anyways i mean on the snow trooper but the, the regular stormtrooper is a very cool design and it has um it has the the red in there for uh, the dark side the light the, the basically lightsaber stuff we got all the characters the cool moments the uh boba fett is in there the the asteroid field and yeah it's a very very cool piece probably looks awesome as well it looks already so shiny can't wait for it to see to have it like or have people have it in hand and uh post some pictures of the pearlescent effect also the last one uh, the return of the jedi really cool uh with the purple i think that goes very well and darth vader as the figure hat in this case we got jabba in there uh, frozen in carbonite han solo the rancor even that's like really really cool stuff i like the concept of these and they look probably great in person so everyone who got one um if you if you got one please send me a picture of or like a little short video of how it looks like because i'm really interested okay the next one we are going to talk about is also star wars piece and it's by danny haas who uh, did this for pop cult art it's a lithographed uh piece uh, with addition of 250 it's 12 by 24 inches um that might be maybe a mistake because that doesn't look like 12 by 24 inches but maybe i'm wrong um or maybe somebody wrote the the size wrong i don't know maybe my mistake as well but it looks really cool i got uh, the the like anakin light side anakin dark side basically very cool concept um and it seems to be a smaller piece so good to hang in my in my opinion and um i really enjoyed this one this as i said 250 available at uh, pop called art so check it out head over there they they are probably still available then there's something new i um i knew that it was existing and it was the um, the world disney world resort series there's there's even a german uh, there's a german poster um i saw that that came out last year and it's made all made by eric tan and eric tan is a great artist in that regard he did also some very cool star wars stuff before and um this series is um always <clears throat> a limited edition of 200 it's a fine art serigraph on Star Dream silver metallic archival paper. It is the dimension, uh, dimensions of 27 inch by 18 inch, and it is, includes also the borders in this case. And it's printed by in the U.S. by Cyclop, Cyclops Printworks. And they all look really cool, and they all have to do with Disney attractions and old ones. And the Epcot Center there, um, you can see in the background, it has some very cool cool stuff going on there and i like the colors and the concept you can see his kind of style like going through all of these and um still they are all kind of different and uh, I, I really enjoyed his imagination piece here this is one of my favorites but the community core before that is also really great um since i'm a big robot fan so yeah that's really cool but <clears throat> the last one is really the, the color the colors i think are really cool with the universe of energy and um all that aspects from dinosaurs to the future basically i think that picks up really well and it looks it's really cool to look at okay now we're gonna get back to back to the future because it was the 35th year anniversary of that and mondo made also a cool print by adam simpson and this is a five color screen printed poster on french paper and speckle tone cream and um, it looks really amazing. It has all the aspects of Back to the Future in there, the, the first part, obviously. And um, you can see the the, the different um, like scenes from the movie, which are really cool. And I really enjoyed that here at the beginning. Great, great stuff. So that's that that has been a really cool print it's this uh, edition of 225 adam simpson did a great job job on that and there's a variant also this is the variant i think i like the regular one even though a little bit better but um yeah the variant is uh, was available 125 times solo quickly uh, for all your uh for all the 
back to the future fans out there i mean it's it's a it, those are great movies so yeah um really enjoyed this one adam simpson great job on that and the, the concept of it is just amazing i really really like this one okay the next one is um by the one and only carl fitzgerald i really really like carl fitzgerald and he never disappoints i have a lot of prints of him and i i love my metropolis i have that always up um and i got the indiana jones series which are really cool and this like star wars stuff which are some a, a piece available right now so maybe if uh, when this podcast comes out maybe there's still some available in the store so check that out um definitely in the future and uh yeah this this is the piece i'm talking about this is uh, the akira piece it's called uh, for, for akira's movie it's called P pandora's box and it's uh yeah it's just a screen print by with the sizes with the size of 36 by 24 hand numbered edition says a uh, hundred uh, of hundred and the variant of that is only available available 35 times which in my opinion is the better a better one with the with the red uh because it's black and basically black and white and then the red pops really cool and it would perfectly go with my metropolis in, in terms of color and uh yeah this is this is a really 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 great screen print i really love this one akira great movie can't go wrong and i think it's something different than uh the other um akira prints that are out there do and yeah the 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 you can see the this Carl Fitzgerald style with the brush strokes he does and the way he works really really great and then the, in this series he also did another um another animated movie which is Spirited Away and he he went above and beyond with this one I'm sorry today <coughs> got something in my throat here and <coughs> Spirited Away was really great to look at look look at this piece with the stones and the, oh my god this is this is a fantastic piece and in, in that colorway in this in this uh, in this yellowish um brownish colorway it's just amazing such great work and the variant uh with the english title and instead of the japanese one this is this also looks really great i, th I like it a little bit better i think because it's a little bit lighter in in terms of but i also like the japanese version with the title uh in being in japanese and this is also a hand numbered edition of 125 and the variant is 35 times available uh, or was available and it was sold out quick so maybe some ap's in the future of, uh, by Carl Fitzgerald because he does that definitely so stay tuned uh check out his instagram and um see what what will be available so yeah really really cool stuff really enjoyed this one but the next one is going to be also something new that we are going to talk about and it's a trading card set basically i'll give you i'll give you some some uh, shots this is basically the whole training card set it, it was available for um 625 dollars i think it was by 1988 gallery and has all 41 cards and you would get the same number in addition it's uh two uh, 2.5 times 3.5 inches and it inclu includes a three by five inch top loader and yeah each card is signed and numbered so that's really great to have so there's a lot a lot a lot of cool stuff that comes with this i'm gonna, gonna give you a little close-up of uh, the cards they have in there and i think there are so many so many good ones um this one is the first one i wanted to talk about which is the thunder mifflin michael scott card it's just great i can't believe how awesome these cards are and if something happens it might be something in the future in that regard of cards but uh, so so keep an eye out for that but these cards are just amazing i i i had trading cards basketball trading cards back in the day and i would definitely get these man the sport ones are just amazing here's the the back of the card that's what she said michael scott stuff typical michael scott stuff so that's like really funny we have the mark Wahlberg one the, the where he uh, plays vince papale um, and there's a wide receiver for the eagles great card we have but we have also different ones from um sport like a fictional sport rivalry look at this one here detective jake peralta versus fire marshal boone brooklyn 99 what a great show really love it and um really excited that they made these kind of cards as well we have ken miles the christian bale version for le mans um and this is just just great stuff but my favorite one is
probably this one here which is the Gala Bowl, Monica Gala versus Ross Geller in Friends, where they played football. What a great episode. I really enjoyed this one, and I really love this card. So, yeah, great work, work by Kyler Smith. I think I didn't say his name yet, but Kyler Smith, yeah, check, check him out on Instagram. He does so much cool stuff. Really enjoys work. So, um, yeah, Kyler, maybe in the future, uh, let's, let's get something going. <laughs> I got ideas. Okay. And now we will come to the open editions I talked about in the beginning as well. It is by Vice Press, who did, who started this new kind of thing. They are not, not new, but in, in terms of it's their first uh, editions. I think they call it Vice Press Editions, um, which features these open editions where you can basically buy as many as you want. And it's for... It's basically a timed edition in that kind of re kind of regard, but not over a weekend or a week. And um, maybe at some point in the future, far far down the road, there's going to be um, this is going to be maybe uh, get like they're not going to offer that anymore. So at some point you have to get it. So time time it right, and it's also a good start um, for this kind of hobby or this kind of collecting because they're a little bit cheaper. Then the like the, sc the the real screen printed ones, but they look the same. And the first one is by Matt Ferguson um, for the silent running. He did also some five by five inches, which are really cool. But this is a uh, this is an A two A A two print, like the Patrick Conan one. We're gonna talk after that, and it's uh, sixteen point four times twenty three point four inches, which is. Uh, 42 centimeters by almost 60 centimeters so that's that's uh the, the european size and as i think it's really cool and this print is just amazing and i i saw that uh, somebody bought a blu-ray or was it a dvd of the movie and uh, it it comes close to matt's work uh, in in terms of what they like the color scheme what they went for so this looks it's like really really cool stuff but what i got for myself is the, are, are the droids that are in in the movie and which are the, the basis for the Star Wars movies, basically. So this is really interesting um, for this 1972 uh, film. So check it out. It's really worth it. It's a good, good movie. And yeah, these are the droids I talked about. Yui, Dewey, and uh, Dewey, Yui, and Louie this way around. And yeah, the, those are just amazing. I really enjoy those uh, those little droids. As I said, they are five by five inches, and so very small. And uh, you can basically put them anywhere in between. For example, when I have you in the back, the, the Ollie Moss um, Avengers, I could switch those out. That's that's I'm really looking forward for that. And yeah, let's take a closer look at the droids themselves here is the the dewey one which is really cool and uh, i really uh, like the design of it they, they they look perfectly like in the movie it's just great what matt did here and i love the sizes of the prints and amazing work fits fits in with the overall work of course and uh can't go wrong with this one so if you want to start out this is the way to do it check out vice press uh, i think they're working together with zavi um uk as well but yeah, Vice Press has all of them on the website and you can even get them signed if you ask them via email. So this is really cool stuff. And uh, they come also with a stamp of, of authenticity on, on the back and uh, they are a set. They, you can get them as a set only. So that's really cool to have. Check it out. It's not expensive. It's a good way to start, as I said. And yeah, this, this is basically it right now. And now we will get over um and uh to to patrick conan and talk to him about his vice press edition piece the thing okay now it's the time that we talk to patrick conan who is also known as barbarian factory on instagram and he is one great artist and he did this wonderful the thing piece that we're going to talk about with him patrick how are you my man hey hi tom thank you to have me here of course with you. of course it's a pleasure to have you i mean um you've put out several great pieces um over the years and um now you started um collaborating with vice press how how did this come about oh that's a first uh i've been chatting with matt ferguson for quite a long time now mm -hmm. for almost the beginning of my illustrator career okay uh, like seven years ago, mm -hmm. and 
we 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 were in the same um, um, artist collective. Okay. Uh, known as the uh, poster posse. Oh, I did not know you so, were in a poster posse. Yeah, I was at the beginning with him, yeah. and uh, we we left. I think he left first, and uh, I left uh, a while after. Okay. And uh, uh, we we were. We were good friends, uh, chatting a lot, uh, uh, giving a lot of feedback on our hearts and uh, anything. Yeah. And uh, for when 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 he started uh, Vice Press, mm -hmm. he, he 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 asked me, well, he told me we 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 should do something together. And the time passed, mm -hmm. and we. We didn't do anything, and then I came back to him and say, "Hey, we we have to, to work together." Yeah. And, and and he said, "Yeah, sure." Yeah, send, that's that's how he is. <laughs> yeah, send me some stuff, and and I was okay. And he gave me a list of um, of 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 film to um, uh, to work on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, to work on, and uh, I, I, I want to do that, I want to do that, I want to do that too, and uh, I sent to him and, and uh, uh, a lot of concepts, and uh, he picked some. Some. Okay, can can you tell which other movies you you had the chance to pick, or is that NDA? <laughs> I, I can tell. Okay, now. Okay, okay, perfect. Off air, we're gonna talk. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to happen very quickly. Okay, perfect. Um, so let's go through the um, concepts. I mean, I'm going to show the art now. Um, the variant, uh, I'm sorry, the, the regular piece can be seen, which is very beautiful. But um, can you talk us through the regular piece? Um, what, what, how was the concept? How did you come about it? Why did you pick the things you picked? <clears throat> I came first with some other concepts uh, because I wanted to 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 do like a, a John Carpenter series. Mm -hmm. uh, of, I, I started uh, some a couple of years ago uh, with uh, vampires, mm -hmm. and uh, um, and uh, I wanted to 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 match that first poster with. Um, uh, a composition of the main actor in in the center of the image, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, I came with some examples. Um, yeah, uh, I, I had a few concepts of of uh, of, of Kurt Russell that's, at the center. That's the one. With, that's uh, the one where he's laying in the snow, right? Yeah, in the snow with the blood sample yeah. and. Uh, uh, and uh, the other one is um, is wet. There was with... yeah. I have I have the one with the snow where he's like just laying there like 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 an angel basically. Yeah. And then there's the one with the with the little spider thingy kind of you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that one. And uh, and then the blood. I was like... yeah. The blood sample is also there with the Palmer one. That that looks really cool. Yeah, and and, and uh, th that was my first concept. Okay, these two, the snow and uh, him uh, laying in the in the blood sample. Oh, okay, but was not not very convinced. But I, I had I had to draw them and send them just to to see. Yeah, and uh, I kept the idea of him um, um, firing with his flamethrower. Yeah in the blood sample and creating uh, the, the the double head yeah. and after i came with the 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 sort of thing coming out of the blood sample yeah. to 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 form the logo title the thing yeah, yeah 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 and uh, and matt was not very convinced of that okay and he was like Show me more. <laughs> you and can do more. <laughs> you, can, you can do better. And I was okay. Uh, I I I I had tried. Yeah. And um, and uh, he he told me you you should do something with the dog. And I was okay. And uh, I I was like eh, this this image of. Um, 
the um, the, the station yeah. in the snow has been done like several times. Uh -huh. uh, how could I, I make it original? Yeah. And I was it was very hard, and I was okay. Let's add the helicopter and the chopper mm -hmm. uh, ch chasing the dog. And I was like, okay, this, this hasn't been done yet. I can do that. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I made a, a, a rough uh, sketch of it, mm -hmm. send, in, uh, send it to, to, to Matt and James, and uh, they loved it. They loved it. So I was okay. They sent it uh, for approval mm -hmm. to, to the guy who's got a license, yeah. and uh, they were very, very enthusiastic of about that. So Perfect. I was, oh. How do you? How did you do the 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 sketch? Do you do it digitally all, or do you do it on paper? Uh, uh, I I first do a very, 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 uh, very rough uh, thumbnail sketches, yeah. and no, you, you can you can see that that's so just. <laughs> Too, too horrible. Yeah, but it's okay. Then, there's there's nothing too horrible. I, I have uh, I, if if you watch the 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 raid episode he did for his uh, Hey Joe piece, uh, the raid seventy one episode. That's like I don't know. He the, the sketch is like super easy. It looks like I could do it, but I still can't. But <laughs> so you're probably gonna be the same level of quality, <laughs> even if you do the sketch. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's uh, something like that, and. Uh... You, 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 so I can understand what I want to do, mm -hmm. and then I, I go digital and uh, I sketch it um, more detailed and uh, um, and e easy to uh, easily readable for for someone who has to to say okay uh, we we can do that we we can print that yeah. so okay. Um, how how is it? Um, what kind of hardware do you use? You use a Wacom tablet, or because I talked to Matt, because yeah. I talked. Yeah, I've got. I'm sorry. A Cintiq. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I, I have like a, a Cintiq. Yeah, because I talked to Matt and he was like, uh, that he switched to the Surface and he the Surface is way better. That's what he's saying right now. It's like he 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 just basically said, yeah, forget about Cintiq. Wacom was like, all right, <laughs> because I have a Surface Book and it's like really really excited about it because I wanted to dabble a little bit, see so just to like try it out. And now he gave me the the go ahead <laughs> basically. Okay, no, I'm not, um, uh, I'm a sucker for Apple and Macintosh. Oh, okay, okay, so, I see, I see, I see. So I, I do have um, uh, another, uh, it was the Cintiq Companion 2, which was yeah. uh, uh, running on Windows, but I was, yeah, I, I, I can't, okay. I, just, I just can't. It's all good, it's all good though, don't worry. No judgment here, no judgment here. <laughs> okay, and um, how, did you, how did you go about the variant piece? Oh, the, the variant idea came while I was doing the regular one, mm -hmm. and I was, uh, um, I was almost, uh, I have grown almost like the wall poster, and I was, eh, let let's try a red red um, a red layer on it, and I was, oh, looks good. I can I can do some flames and everything, and I started to to draw flames in the in the back of the of the poster, mm -hmm. and it was looking good. And I said I, I sent the idea to Matt and James, and they they were like, "Wow, that's cool." Mm -hmm. So let's do it too. And um, and while when I finished the, the regular one, I. I I jumped on the on the variant mm -hmm. and uh, and at the end it was like okay it's cool but it's missing something and Matt came with the idea of adding um, the alien shape uh, in the back of the poster with tentacles and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. I was not convinced of with that, and he also said to me, "Try the, the double head." And I was, "Yeah, I can do that." And and it was looking very fine. So 
Yeah, it, we did. It, it looks it looks very great, especially when uh, when when we looked at your um, at your concepts you you drew before. So you could basically combine your idea in in that poster, and that that's a really cool thing. And I really really like this um, idea to to include the alien because um, I just showed the 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 one without the alien, and there's yeah. like a little something is missing, and I think that's the right touch, and I think you it turned out really really beautiful. So a uh, good mm -hmm. job on that. Um, how do you like uh, uh, how, that the how the print came uh, like uh, comes out now? Um, since it's an open edition from uh, uh, from Vice Press and also yeah. uh, as, as a lithograph. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's something new they they, they came with, mm -hmm. and uh, it's 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 very cool, and uh, the price is affordable. It is definitely. To who who, who, who who buy a lot of posters so mm. oh yeah you can buy this one so yeah it's cool and I, I i just looking forward to see how they came out yeah in and it's it is has also um the the different dimensions right it's like it's uh, it's not eight no no isn't it it's not 18 by 24 is it yeah, yeah. A2, A2, it's a, a standard size in, in Europe. Yeah, so, so that, that f first first time they do something good. <laughs> I mean, we always have to buy the American sizes. And like in the beginning, when I started yeah. collecting, they never had a frame that fit a 24 by 36. Never. Yeah, I have to go to, go, uh, to the framer every yeah. time I want to frame something. So. Exactly. And <laughs> finally, Ikea has some though. Yeah, yeah, but well, the quality is not good True. enough, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got one there, and yeah. it's fine. I know, I, I know the feeling, though, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's really great stuff. Um, Would you like to have it at some point, maybe a screen print version of it that's just limited, or is that something, or like an AP limited screen print? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it would be good, but I don't think we, we, we're going to do that, so. Okay, okay. And um, yeah, my last question for you would be uh, in the regards of um, the 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 movie. How how did you like the movie? What 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 did you like? What didn't you like? What's your rating? Oh, I just like it so much. Yeah, so. But, I mean, if if we if we look in the back there, everybody can tell. <laughs> uh, yeah, behind you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and um, yeah, but what did you like most about it? Oh, uh, just like the perfect horror movie. Uh, the reason of the movie is just good, uh, very intense. Uh, you you don't know who is the alien, so it's like very frightening. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, yeah, just a good movie, huh? <laughs> Yeah. So, um, mm -hmm. what uh, what would you rate the movie on a scale from zero to ten? Oh, nine out of ten. Perfect, nine out of ten. That's it. You heard it, folks. So, um, this was our time with the great Patrick Conan, and uh, he did this wonderful the thing piece or put the, both of them and go over to vice press news and check it out on on instagram and uh, go to their site and store and you can afford it easily i think it's 29.99 pounds british pounds yes, and like that, yeah, yes. they send it out and uh, europe uh, the european um shipping is not that expensive and uh, it's definitely worth it for starting a good collection so thank you, Patrick, again. It was a pleasure having you on. And uh, we will probably see more in the future. Oh. Take care, man. Fingers up. Fingers crossed. Thank you.